Hello to this new tutorial. In this tutorial, I will explain how to convert a file to uh, base64 and, and to byte. So uh, please watch the previous tutorial where I explain how uploading a file works. But to quickly explain, we have a controller here called uh, with a in, uh, we have a controller here called home controller and an action here in that controller called index. In this action, we have a form that is posting a multi-part form data. And this form has two inputs. The first input is a type of file, and the second input is type submit. So we're submitting a file to the same action name called index, but with the verb post, HTTP post. So here we, we will receive a file. And to read the file byte, we have to init initiate a, uh, uh, declare a variable called uh, with a decl declaration of byte. So we say new byte. No, we can call it file byte equal new byte. And we'd say the, we declare the byte with the length of the file length. So the content length. And then we're going to read the content from the file. So we say this file, uh, we're going to read the input stream where we are st uh, storing the data. So we're reading that and we're going to put it on the file, on the byte we declared here. So the data is going to be uh, inserted into this byte. And we start at index zero and we read the whole uh, file. So we're reading to the end of the file. And I have to check that, yeah, the name here should be file as well because we have file here. So now we have a byte of the file. And to convert it to base64, we can do string base64 string is equal to convert to base64 string. And then we need to provide it with a byte argument. And to, to convert a base64 string to byte again, we can do byte new byte file is equal to convert from base from base64 string. And then we provide it with a base64 string. And then it will convert it to byte again. So let's see this in action. So I'm starting the project now. I'm choosing a file. Let's use this file and send. So we came here with a file called one PNG and it's an image of PNG. And we see that the file byte has a content length, but if we check the, the bytes, it's all zero. And zero means a capital A. So this is only capital A. If you convert it from a byte to a yeah to a base64 string, but now we're gonna read the input stream here. So when we when we read it, we will have data on these bytes. And now we can also convert it to base64 string. So if I take this base64 string and open a website called uh, what is it called? It's called Convert your base64 to image. So if I add this base64 here, press generate image, we will have a generated image. So this uh, here's the base64 string. And to convert the base64 string to byte again, we do convert from base64 string and we, imp we insert it with a base64 string. And the new byte is created again. Alright, thank you for watching and hopefully this helps some of you fellow programmers. See you th uh, in the next tutorial. Bye.